In today's Madden 21 tip, I want to break down a simple edge pressure from the 3-4 bear defense, guys. This is going to be the focal defense uh, for my defensive guide. I've got the 3-4 bear, the nickel 55, and the dollar 326 out of the 4-6 playbook, one of my favorite playbooks. So if you want to pick up that Madden 21 competitive bundle, guys, you can in the description. A link is right there. That guide is going to be updated with the 3-4 bear this weekend in it. So 3-4 bear, basically what you want to do is you just want to put your best... Um, your fastest pass rushers on the outside edges. Um, whoever you have that's fast, you can put there. You know, basically the, the bottom line is you just want as much speed on the field as you can get. Um, and the play we're gonna come out in to start everything, to kind of kickstart everything, is you can come out in either the Buck Strong Safety 3 or the Pinch Dog 3, and I wanna show you why. So with Buck Strong Safety 3, what you do, if you come out in this defense right here, you see if I base the line and I press a couple times, the linebacker's gonna come into this middle A gap right here. This is actually really, really valuable for the blitzing of this formation. And we talked about this, um, we talked about this before about a simple, um, uh, a simple uh, get, gap pressure that we can get with this right here. So let me show you this real quick. So you see, this is simple, just simple, simple base rush here from four down linemen. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you, um, we're going to show you another pressure today, uh, and that's from the pinch um, or buck strong safety three. It doesn't really matter, right? You just need this linebacker to go in the gap. Maybe. Let's get this linebacker to go. I'll go back out. Sometimes you have to blitz him first. There we go. So you see you have him blitzing right here. So this is gonna be a simple um, a simple pressure. All we're gonna do is we're gonna crash our line to the right. And then we're going to blitz this guy, Gary. And we're gonna QB contain. So what we've got here is we've got one, two, three, six guys rushing at the quarterback. And what you'll see here is this snap of the ball. You see we're gonna get that right edge pressure. Now we're gonna show you how to make that blitz a little bit better by drop being able to drop zones and different things like that. So we're gonna come out and again, you can do it from the Black Strong Safety 3. Basically, you just need the linebacker to go in the gap. Pinch is probably a little bit easier to do it from, and you can do this from any coverage. It doesn't have to be. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be um, pinch but go. In fact, what I typically, typically will actually do um, is audible uh, to some to to uh, maybe pinch dog three or whatever. But anyway, pinch but go. So you come out in this play right here. And then I can audible to anything I want. So I'm going to audible to the cover two invert. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to crash my line to the right. I'm going to blitz this guy here, Gary. Keep a contain rush. And you're going to see I'm either going to get a gap pressure or I'm going to get edge heat. Very, very simple. Very, very simple pressure. Now, um, what when you do it from man, what you're going to get here is you're gonna to wanna to zone off these guys right here. So obviously we're gonna put one of them in a purple zone to take away crossers. The other one, what I'll typically do is man him up on the running back. And then I'm gonna use her, um, this safety right here. So again, you see here, simple five man pressure from three, four bear. Um, and you see the edge sheet comes in very clean. Now, one thing you can do off of this is you can actually get edge, le edge pressure from the left doing basically the same thing. So you're gonna crash line to the left now you're going to zone out a uh, circle. This time you don't need to man anybody up because you've already got him manned up. And so all you're gonna do is use your assignment, which in this situation, it's the uh, the tight end or whatever. And you'll see we're gonna be able to get that. Uh, there we got Nano detected. But we're, we've showed that pressure before, I believe, the, the pressure left. So you've got pressure right, pressure left from one formation, looks identical. And you're doing it with sending five out. Now, if I spy this guy right here, Zedary Smith, you're actually going to see um, it doesn't do it doesn't do uh, the best, but it does okay. Um, the base rush still kind of comes in, but not at the same not at the same level that it did. So, what I would recommend is just sending the five guys out in a pressure. Um, it's going to work a little bit better for you here. Here you see a little passive a gap pressure that we're going to be talking about in our defensive ebook. So if you want to pick that up, guys, we are updating that this weekend. Um, the whole three four bear scheme will be out this weekend. We'll make an announcement on the channel when it's out. So make sure you're subscribed. And Discord members will get early access to that guide. So if you're in the Discord, make sure, or if you're um, interested in that, make sure you're in the Discord. Also, just in general, guys, if my videos have helped you in at all in Madden, uh, be sure to jump in the Discord. The Discord is truly the best place to get better. Uh, in this year's game so many tips and strategies that we break down for you guys uh, in that simple discord right there 
trying out a couple new tweaks with this blitz but you see guys I mean the blitz is really good uh, it's good on both sides um, this is just a simple uh, you know simple double edge pressure and all, again all you got to do is just blitz that um, that linebacker on the right side of the screen and you're gonna see and you can do this from any formation you can do this from any formation now again what they're gonna do uh, in 3-4 bear a lot I guarantee you you'll see this so what they're going to do is they're going to start um, effectively whoops I said crash line middle um, effectively what they're gonna start doing is they're gonna start double teaming your nose guard because you're gonna be coming through clean with your nose guard pretty consistently so what you want to do um, and that's why I like the five-man pressure because if they double team the nose guard you're gonna see this is this is literally gonna scream right off the edge um, not even close now sometimes what you can actually do with this um, if you wanted to is you could just um, re-blitz that re-blitz all your linebackers um, after the cubic contain rush and you see the pressure is going to come in a little bit cleaner off that edge but uh, that's a little bit of an extra setup so again real quick just so we're clear uh, your setup is to base a line you don't have to do that but I like to do that um, press coverage shade coverage over top crash your line to the uh, left slant left blitz all the linebackers and then you're going to um, actually slant line left and then blitz all line uh, QB contain sorry slant line left QB contain then blitz all linebackers down and what you're gonna see here is you're gonna be left with this look right here just like this and then I like to zone these guys out um, you can throw this down a man assignment on the halfback and what you'll see here is the snap of the ball you're gonna get that pressure right off the edge so very simple five-man edge pressure uh, in Madden again guys this defense is really good if you want to send pressure this is the defense at least in my opinion so far this year um, it's the best one that I've found we've got uh, edge pressure a get pressure B got pressure uh, we've also got great coverages that you can run from dollar 326 nickel 55 we've got really good run defense from nickel 55 wide so if you haven't already guys be sure to jump in grab that competitive bundle guide again we're gonna be updating that this weekend for you it'll come out probably tomorrow night um, because again I want to finalize a couple of things on it but uh, anyways guys thanks for subscribing to the channel thanks for watching thanks for so much of the support remember we upload four times a day here on our youtube channel so make sure if you're new that you subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything that we've got and also guys make sure you come to one of our live streams our live streams every night at 10 o'clock eastern time uh, are where we basically break down live what we're doing what we're thinking and why we're calling the calls that we're calling so anyways hope this blitz was helpful and there's some other videos that are coming up on the screen that i want you to check out and we'll see you tonight